All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Great punch landing with so much power. Slips the punch. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Outstanding job finding a place for that knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lunges forward with a left air. What a body They're kick. certainly getting after it early. Beautiful strike. All right, single collar tie now. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Some nice back and forth action here. 15 seconds to go. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. There's the right hand there. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Back and forth we go here. Big body to play. Just out of range with that strike. And there's a takedown attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets up. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick land. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Just over two minutes now to go. <laughs> Able to check that kick as well. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Caught the kick. Way to hide that leg kick. I mean, that right hand land the square. Get him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Able to check the high kick. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Just a slip there. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Now he engages in a Moy. Oh, oh, oh. Punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. That was a jab. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, his opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy. It was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, the cardio the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one.
just missed. Best man I've ever seen. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he might be out. Nice straight punch. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Went for the inside leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Leg kick. Kelly's shot is blocked. Visibly limping here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Big power shot there. Drop a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world.